Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. This video is going to take you out for a walk on the beach and check out the seaweed situation. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here and I've already circled a section on the beach. This is in front of the Hilton and the Hyatt. Let's go. Good morning from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Look at that sunrise. Sunrise this morning was at 6.50 or thereabouts. So it's probably about seven o'clock out here on the beach. Anyways, it looks like there's been a bit of an uptick in the seaweed situation. Workers have already been out here probably for about an hour and what they've done is they've raked all the seaweed into these piles that we're gonna have, as you can see right up here, the, some machinery. They're gonna fill that front area there and uh, the tractor's gonna head down the beach and there's already a big truck out at the end of Avenue Constituente there and they've been filling it up. So it looks like um, they know here that it's gonna be kind of starting to increase. I told you February 15th, the seaweed would come in. It came in February 15th, but then in the next five days after that video that I made around the February 15th, when the seaweed kind of started to come in, they said that there would not be an uptick between February 15th and April 1st. Well, we're getting close to April 1st here and I have noticed there's been a little bit, bit of an uptick here. So it seems like those scientists and those journalists that are putting this information out that I've been reading to you over the last 15 weeks, this is almost four months I've been doing that. And look at that sunrise. It still, it doesn't really smell right now because uh, the seaweed has just come in overnight. And like I said, there has been an uptick in it. There is more of it coming in now than there has been in the previous, I'm gonna say, four or five weeks. It seemed like February 15th, a bunch of it came in and then it slowly has just kind of dissipated and just kind of gone down to a level where the last maybe two, three weeks, I've done videos early in the morning, there's been next to no seaweed. And I'm not saying it's a, it's a problem right now, the seaweed situation here, because this is what it would look like if people weren't cleaning it up. And I'm not saying this is a real problem because it is nothing compared to what it was like uh, last year at this time. You would have minimum five to eight times what we have here. You would have a minimum 10 feet of a big mound of seaweed on the beach before you even got to the water and then you would have 10 to 20 feet of it laying in the water where you'd have to swim to it. It would be stuck all over you before you got to some open water. So you can tell from the color of that that it is new seaweed that has come in. So it's just come in overnight and it really doesn't smell that much and you've got people here walking along the beach because it doesn't stink. Now if this sat here for one or two days, yeah, it would be major, it would be a major stink and that's what's going on other, happening on other beaches in Playa del Carmen. They're not cleaning it up. That's why I come along this beach right here. I wanna give you the sunrise, and this is what it looks like at sunrise. There's been a little bit of an uptick in the last at least month, a little bit of an uptick, but they clean it up. So if you're still coming out here at one or three in the afternoon and you're out on the beach and you're lying on those loungers or in the bali beds and stuff like that, you're probably oblivious to what's going on here on the beach. So this is uh, the Hyatt. Usually I walk in front of the Hilton, but I've kind of wanted to move a little bit farther over here to the Hyatt to uh, give you a little bit different perspective. So, and like I said, usually I'm down at the Hilton there where I come in on Avenue Constituente, but now today, this is right in front of the Hyatt. Um, that's why I've moved down here. Somebody said, okay, you're always in front of the Hilton, which is what I'm looking at right now. See that ferry dock down there? That is the Hilton. So what am I? I'm probably 500 meters up the beach here and um, there is noticeably more seaweed. It does not smell yet. There is not a lot of it in the water there. So I am happy that uh, things are the way they are. Now, if this turns south 
pretty bad and a lot of seaweed comes in in the next couple weeks, I'm out of here, I'll be gone. Uh, but I didn't expect to be here this long and uh, it's much better than I thought it would be. As a result, I'm gonna be hanging out down here uh, as long as I can before it really gets bad. And I'll say it again, this does not look bad to me and it does not smell to me. Uh, there are certain beaches up north, a little bit farther up here, like around that uh, little peninsula you see up ahead there, maybe a kilometer or two up uh, north of here, Playa 88 and um, Punta Esmeralda, Playa Punta Esmeralda, where there's the same amount of seaweed, but they're, they're not cleaning it up. As a result, uh, they're kind of maybe putting it in some piles and it stinks because they can't get rid of it. Uh, just to give you the background, after 48 hours of this seaweed being out here, sargasm, they call it sargasso or seaweed, laying out here on the beach, it starts to stink, decompose, ferment, and it starts to become toxic. Um, the side effects are headaches, upper respiratory issues, watery eyes, headaches, and I've experienced all of those covering this in the last two years. This is my 15th week. We're coming up on four months that I've been here, walking the beach here, doing an update. It also looks like, um, you can see that that is a definite uptick, where you can see this lady off to the left here coming down. It looks like the beach is eroding. Uh, I've made reference to it the last maybe three or four videos. Now, if anybody in uh, the comment section could tell me, is it a fact that the, the beach is eroding here? Or are they putting the bali beds and the loungers from these hotels out more and more onto the beach? Because this probably is the busiest time of year. March break has just ended, but it's still spring break depending on where you are in North America. A lot of people are still coming down here and it looks like a lot of these hotels are putting more loungers and bali beds out on the beach. And I don't know if the beach is getting smaller or if there is loungers are just imposing more on the beach, hence the beach looks smaller. So uh, let me know if, uh, if anybody knows if the beach actually is eroding here. Uh, my, my opinion is it doesn't look like it has been the last, I'm gonna say three weeks anyways. And maybe that's uh, give and take where it kind of erodes and then it comes back and they put more sand. I don't know the procedure here, but I wasn't here this long last year. It's almost four months now. So he's walking in the seaweed right there and there's not really a problem with it. Sometimes people don't like, oh, there's a worker right there. Some people don't like to swim in it in the water because there's jellyfish in it and sometimes people get stung. Um, so people don't really like it. And when it's toxic on the beach, after two days of it fermenting and decomposing, people don't wanna lay beside it because it stinks. But you can tell people are still walking on the beach here because they're removing it as soon as it comes in every day and it's not really fermenting or smelling. So. All in all, they're managing it. Everything looks pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna keep uh, kind of coming down here and uh, putting a video probably every Wednesday and Saturday, a couple of a week. But there is the sunrise. Excellent weather here in Playa del Carmen. Just gonna say thanks for coming along on the walk with me. I'm gonna say ciao for now. And I will see you probably midweek around Wednesday and give you another video. Thank you very much. See you soon.